Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another video. But before I get started with the subject of this video, I want to give a huge shout out to my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks is a company that provides upgrade decals for modern Transformer figures along with reproduction decals for the vintage ones. While visiting Toy Hacks, make sure and check out the Toy Hacks Armory to see their line of Transformers weaponry in multiple colors and toy stages for awesome display backdrops. Each purchase from Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that you can use for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors, so make sure and check out ToyHacks.com and tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bot in this video is Transformers Generation Selects War for Cybertron Kingdom Tricranius Beast Power. Now, normally with Generation Selects figures, I really don't do an intro like this because the packaging, as far as I'm concerned, really wasn't much to look at. I mean, your old Generation Selects boxes were this. You had a brown paper box with a spray-painted Autobot logo. You open it up, figures there on the inside with some artwork here. I've had this guy for quite some time and haven't taken him out of the packaging yet. But with Tricranius, you've got a Maximal symbol, all kinds of jungle artwork all the way around, and the kicker, when you open this thing up, I mean, wow. Check that out. That is some awesome artwork of Tricranius here, who you see sealed in with some little plastic bands. There is no plastic in here other than the bands whatsoever. Even right here, this little box where you would have the blast effects, they're all wrapped up in, if I can get it open, what looks like packing paper, gift wrap paper. So not a lot of plastic with this figure and even this box looks good. So now without further ado, let's go ahead and get this figure completely opened out of the package and check him out. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> Now, once you get Tricranius all opened up and out of the packaging, you'll see he does come with a sheet of instructions that, as usual, are very well illustrated and very easy to follow. But if you have Kingdom Ractonite, you'll know how to transform Tricranius. Of course, you also get Tricranius himself and what everybody wants this set for, this box of blast effects. So let's go ahead and open these up. I opened them up earlier and showed you that they are wrapped up in tissue paper here. Now, I haven't even taken a look at these. I have not unwrapped these, so we are going to check these out together. So we've got a couple layers here, and there we are. Ooh, that's the sparkly wrappy paper. So let's go ahead and get these dumped out. Man, that is some bright pink. Okay, let's get those spread out and take a look at them. Now, after getting the blast effects all out and organized by collar, I can tell that the hot pink ones are the blast effects that came with Omega Supreme and Skylinks, where these light aqua blue ones are the ones that came with Jetfire. Now, there is a couple extras. You got the explosion ones that came with the uh, barriers, the battle masters that turned into ramps. And there's a couple blast effects that came with Battle Masters. Some you even have to put together, like this one right here. You take this piece, hook it into that piece. So you've got that blast effect going on. And then you have this weird one here. Let me see that you hooked in. Let me set it backwards. Like so. I That's one of my least favorite blast effects right there. Now I can tell you right now, I am not a big fan 
of the coloring on these. Do not like these hot pink ones at all. The light aqua ones, I mean, these could be like freeze blasts or something, but hey, at least we didn't get jet black blast effects like we did with Rodimus Prime. So that's pretty much it for the blast effects. You guys know how to use those. I think they're pretty much going in my blast effects baggie. So now let's take a look at Tricranius. As I mentioned earlier, Tricranius is a repaint of Kingdom Ractonite. And what a glorious repaint this figure is. He looks like the freaking Balrog from Lord of the Rings. Very, very fire oriented. The paint scheme is just awesome. I love how the ribs are painted with the yellow in between. That just really, really pops. Now, there is a lot of clear plastic, as you can see my finger right through there, but this is a solid plastic, almost feel, I mean, it's really thick, almost rubber feeling, so no real worries about this breaking, like, say, the hinges on some of the other figures that we have. I mean, I, I just, I can't get over this paint scheme. This guy really pops. Now, unfortunately, the black face it kind of loses some of the sculpted detail, but still, this thing looks awesome. Now, there is one big difference other than the paint scheme between this figure and Ractonite is the shoulder piece or head section of the dinosaur mode. As you can see, Tricranius here has a Triceratops head where Ractonite had a Stracosaurus head. So see the difference so that's pretty cool that hasbro remolded the figure to really make them stand out and look a lot different now of course with my ractonite let me see if i can get him all in shot i have the figure put together so the skull is facing down to really change up the look of the character and kind of give him more of a shoulder pauldron but you can get a real close look at the difference between the two it's night and day. They look great together and do look like two completely different figures. Now, another difference is, let me see if I can find it on Ractonite. There we are. Ractonite has a Predacon insignia right there where Tricranius is a Maximal. You got a Maximal symbol right there on the face. So these two are going to be fighting each other. Now, of course, articulation is exactly the same as Ractonite, along with all of the fossilizer features where he can be turned into different weaponry. Now, if you want to see that, just check out my Kingdom Ractonite review that I have right there in the link above. So now let's take a look at Tricranius in Triceratops mode. In dinosaur mode, Tricranius looks like some sort of Triceratops from hell and I absolutely love it. The collars carry over so well in dinosaur mode, almost even better, especially with the rib cage. He looks so cool. Now, this one leg right here, it does not peg in really, really tight, so you want to watch that that doesn't pop off. Just kind of squeeze it up in there a little better. But yeah, this thing just looks awesome, and it's going to look great on the shelf. Now, one thing I did notice, another difference, is the tail for Tricranius is super flimsy. I mean, this is weak, very rubbery feeling plastic, where Ractonite's tail is pretty stiff. Also, another thing that Tricranius can do is the nose horn can pop right off, but it's got a rectangle peg so you can't really use a blast effect with it. You can, however, use blast effects here with the upper horns. They just pop right out, and those have the peg, so you can take a couple blast effects and plug into the skull of Tricranius, so you've got that going on. Now, I really wish the blast effects were the same color scheme as the figure, because how cool would that look to have Tricranius with flaming horns. That would look awesome, but instead we get blue and hot pink. 
And just in case you have the Firetox Dino Rider set for Ractonite, the Dino Rider set works for Tricranius as well, which is perfect for using those blast effects with. So there you have it, Tricranius in Triceratops mode. And now for some quick size comparisons, here is Transformers Generation Selects Tricranius with Kingdom Optimus Primal. Kingdom Rat Trap, fellow Maximal Fossilizer Wingfinger, and once again with Kingdom Fossilizer Ractonite. The Transformers Generation Selects War for Cybertron Kingdom Tricranius Beast Power set is a decent set overall. I mean, it's always great to get new blast effects. I just really wish they'd pick different colors. Not a fan of the hot pink ones whatsoever. The blue are tolerable, but I really wish they used some of that same plastic, since they already had it they were making the figure from, to give us blast effects in that color scheme. That would have been amazing. The Tricranius figure itself is all right. I mean, if you liked Kingdom Ractonite, you're going to like Tricranius. I do appreciate the fact that Hasbro gave him a completely different head sculpt for the dinosaur mold to really set him apart from Ractonite in both beast and robot mode. So, does a Kingdom Tricranius figure belong in your collection? Well, if you're a fan of the fossilizers, pick him up. I don't think you're going to be disappointed, though you may be disappointed in the blast effects. But still, you can never have enough of those. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Once again, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!